But first, first, me and Bad chat, me and Bad were talking off stream, and I'm kind of like nervous, yo. But listen to this, Bad asked me about FPL. He heard on long stream that they removed people from FPL, but they didn't. They just don't let people play. So they put that it can be, wait, I can read what they put. So FPL made changes in a way that this week, this week, just want to give a heads up, tomorrow and Saturday we are running a test in FPL with only top 30 Valve ranking teams and 10 players from matchmaking who are in top ELO. So, I don't know who these guys are. Blue White, do you know who Blue White is? No. I only know Harn from what I see on your stream. Who? Harn. Ah, Harn. He's high ELO? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, so Harn is high ELO. He said top 10 ELO. Yeah, Harn. Blue white, yeah, yeah, these guys, aha, uh -huh, these guys are at the blinks. Yeah, yeah, these guys are from. No, he's not. I saw a long extreme that Smoya was asking an admin to get an invite for Red Star in FPL, and yeah. they said I already invited him, but Smoya cannot play. So how? I don't he's know, but here, here it says who can play. I, I think this is it. Who can play? So filter by role, and then you can see the people who don't have a role. I think they can't play. So you go here, and you can see these guys are added. Lecro is added as prospect, but Lecro is not top 10. I think they themselves don't respect what they themselves say. It feels like that. Because oh, he's not cool. here in top 10 and he's definitely not the top 30 team, right? It's right. I tell you all the time, they say one thing on FPL, but they themselves don't respect what they say. So instantly you see Lecro. I don't know, Lampada, Kali, and Ozik, I don't know who these guys are. Mokuing, Robo, Semen. Yeah, Red Star can play, he's prospect. But Smoya can. But it, I think so because I can see here. Wait, guys, check out Hellcase code Loba seventy cents free and fifteen percent deposit bonus. You get access to monthly giveaways, which are always the biggest on the site. You can open free daily cases, do upgrades, and unbox the biggest and best skins in CS2. Use code Loba in the pinned comment to get the seventy cents free and fifteen percent deposit bonus. Bro, uh, Bro I'm uh, telling Lonex you. Can play. Can you believe that Lonex cannot play? Lonex. Beasting. He, he cannot play, bro. But how can these people play who are not in top 30? Bro, he was beasting destroyed in FPL, bro. Yeah, he was playing really good and he's fun to play with. Buzz can't play, Quem can't play. Bro, Kairne. He's, he's, isn't he top 10? Corey, Lucky can't. Okay, wait, AVN. I think AVN and them are top 30. They should be. Buzz is playing with Donk all the time. How the f is he not allowed to play, man? Okay, Zero he's Tenacity can play, but Valve ranking 46. Look, Simke, they can where, play. Where the Unless they maybe saw that there would be too little people playing, so they moved it to top 50. But then still people... Look, Aaron can't play, Poria, Deagle, Kyo Cardao, Blue Phoenix can't play. I saw even Smuya can't play, Chill can't play, Adam, Adam and Jaquinho, the sick. Shield can't play, he hasn't been playing, but he's sick. Ryu, Salsa, Patti can't play, imagine Patti can't play. FPL admin messages me telling me heads up and then I go check before the queue and I see that what he said makes no sense because it's not like that. And I see as well Smuya can't play. Look, refresh, Altex, TMB bro. These people can't play. Yeah, Smuya can't play. They removed from Smuya, Jerry and Cypher. Cypher? So they remove from Cypher, but they keep OG. Okay, well, maybe they don't talk to each other, you know, and they do Yeah, but things. admin messages me telling me what's gonna happen, how he's gonna do it. But then, can John Flutter play? I don't know, I'm gonna check. Yeah, he can play, but Smoya can't. Bro, Smoya has been, has been in FPL for like forever. Oh, bro, it doesn't make sense what they're doing. One guy... 20 seconds. One guy can't play from the same team that the guy that can't play. And then the people who are Robert, higher rank can't play, but the people like worse in rank can't play. New rules in FPL, yeah, they put top... Wait, I'm gonna read just in case again. Top 30, only top 30 Valve ranking teams and 10 players from matchmaking who are top in ELO. And I said, no worries, I don't even play that much, don't care. But I just went to check and what they say is not Wait, true. Wait, you wrote that? That you don't care? Yeah, yeah, I said, I don't care, I don't play at all. Yeah, anyway. Why would I care, bro? Like, people don't play it. Bro, I, I mean, listen, the idea is really shit, of course, because every idea Faced ever has is shit. Because I don't know who's doing shit there. They're pretty brain dead. And I always tell them they're brain dead. But then they tell me, oh, you don't have to use bad words. Like, bro, I just call it as it is. It's not a bad word saying to somebody he's brain dead when he does something brain dead. It's just reality. 
and then they get mad bro and then they do something like this in which they announce something that they themselves don't follow wait bro somebody said somebody said there's four games in fpl which is sick but let me see how can they have four games wait four games bro for real look no smoya can play bit yakindar zero fix amslam one unique haji blixi shock mir harni then lampada red star alkaren qb ozik robo lecro blue nah bro this is this is not top 30. didn't you say haji cannot play yeah i don't know i think they changed it i'll check now Smoya is playing bro. yeah nah bro this is nothing new this is the same thing this is all the same people playing like last uh, week let me see oh they added him back to playing and Smoya. yeah they added him as well what the f bro so everything they said it's not true but can you cure i don't wait let me see i don't know i, I don't think so no i don't let me see no, you don't have permission to join queue. What the f But why am I then in the hub? So Bro, I don't want to be there then. Like, I'm in the hub. They messaged me that only uh, top 30 can play. No, top 30 teams and top 10 players. And then it's not like that. Bro, I'd rather just leave. Bro, why would he message me? Hey, man, just want to give you a heads up. Tomorrow and Saturday, we're running a test in FPL with only top 30 Valve ranking teams and 10 players from MM who are in top ELO. And I replied, no worries, I don't play much CS2 at the moment, thank you. And then he asked about the baby, la la la, and I replied. This week they try, they removed me from FPL, last week they tried to take my clan from me. These people are crazy, bro. Deleted both? Deleted I mean, why things. not? Just deleted what? everything. I don't want to be affiliated with Faceit in any way anymore. Do you just delete the clan on Luko? I deleted both clans. Why are you deleting clan? Because last week they tried to steal the clan away from me the way in a way to do it behind uh, my back they asked freezer if freezer would be okay to run my clan oh my lord they want you to play anubis again or i ban you no no ban you anubis let's go whatever Microphone. they wanted to take away my clan because the other clans are dead so what they did is they uh, message freezer would freezer be okay with uh, taking over my clan to play uh, to run it and even freezer asked do they think it would be okay to do that to me and they replied they don't know they're checking the rules if they can do it like is there a way they can take away my clan from me to give it to him and then freezer they don't want to do something so shady he messaged me and when i leaked that they were uh, messaging me saying, oh, that wasn't the plan. The plan was to buy it away from you. So why would you check the rules if you wanted to buy something away? And then a week after that, they messaged me now. Like a few, I'll tell you when they messaged me on second. Yesterday, they messaged me. I'll just write, hey. Okay, I replied to, hey, I left FPL because everything you said was a lie. They deleted both clans as well. Lately, what Face is doing is shady and scammy. They want to be affiliated in any way. Like, bro these people man and then uh this week they uh they messaged me that they're not gonna let everybody play fpl and they remove only a few people from fpl saying that they let only top 30 to play they clearly don't like you and show me i just left i just i just left uh, the hub and i deleted uh, both clans like i don't care i uh, lately i haven't been playing fpl anyway and cs2 honestly but you can do it in a different way you can just message and say yo bro you're not playing good or uh, you don't deserve to be an fpl i'll be like yeah true bye bye you know like it's true but you don't message me like to keep me there so i would be in fpl you don't do that bro just be uh, direct with it remove me i'll be like of course not deserved i don't deserve to be there and that's it face it has turned into a bunch of liars and scammers but yeah one admin one admin messaged and said that uh, it wasn't planned to buy it it was planned to steal it away he messaged no, and that the bro. guy that messaged freezer got uh, instructions from his boss to do that i get a message from face it admin and he writes to me like hey loba heads up uh, we are making changes to fpl and i'm like cool and then he says we're gonna only allow top 30 teams and uh, top 10 players from leaderboard on like matchmaking you know 
Like they invited yeah. like prospects, top 10 prospects from the leaderboard. I'm like, okay, that sounds like a good idea. They're not going to have any games, you know, when they do this. Because it's like a good idea for them to see how brain dead they are. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I don't even play here that much. And I'm like, not even mad. They're doing that because it makes sense for them to try something new. And FPL starting four games. I'm like, what the four games? Let me see. Everybody who is in top 100 and even people who don't play for a team or have high elo like 3k elo and uh, not like top 10 elo but 3k elo and not even a team just a streamer they all have approval to play but they removed for me and for like 15 other for me from deagle for uh chio cardao the guy from romania for longs you know longs yeah, they yeah. removed from him for all these players who are playing every like week they removed from all of them and then they gave everybody else like people who are in OG, OG is like top 100, you know, not to top 30. And okay. I check who's in the game, in the game only like bit one game and yak in that and that's it. Everything else is like same people who they message to queue. And the new talents like from the top 10. But they removed the other people who played FPL for the last 3-4 weeks. Like chill guy and everybody, they removed all of them. I just messaged the admin, you're lying again. You are lying to all of us. You say one thing, you do another thing. So I just left FPL. I deleted both clans, deleted everything and told them to f*** themselves. Bro, the, the one week, they're like, we're going to take away your clan from you, messaging Freezer. Then I asked him what this is about. They say, oh, we wanted to buy it. And then next week, they lied to get me out of FPL. Like, bro, they have no backs to say the truth. Like message, say truth, you want to do this, buy. I'll, I'll just leave. I wouldn't give a f their, even their admins are banning people who they're friends with you know like they have a friend they ban that person by like messages you know what i mean like, yeah. i know this guy have banned this guy and they ban it and they do that people like that are working there the company the whole platform is full of scammers i'm in shock what's happening there Loba, check steam please what did they remove you from FPL this week? This loss that I removed my permission to queue after I played five games yesterday. Uh, I'll explain here what uh, Kito. You know what they did? This Loza guy removed now Kito's uh, uh, permission. Yeah, yeah, wait. Let me just tell him on stream. So, Kito, I'll tell you what happened. This is what happened. Uh, I got a DM on WhatsApp from the main admin on Face It. Uh, I don't know his name. Wait, uh, the Turkish guy. And he said, Hey, Loba, heads up. We are only allowing uh, top uh, 10 ELOs on uh, Face It to play and uh, we are allowing uh, top 30 teams to play. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. Good, good uh, update, you know. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. Good update. And I ignored it. And then at night, somebody's messaging me. Hey, Lopa, there's four games in FPL. And I go check FPL and I see that they gave approval to everybody. Even teams that are top 100 to everybody except to uh, like 15 people. Me, Deagle, Chill and all these people who were playing FPL for the last few months. And they gave to everybody else. I mean to everybody else. But first what they did, Kito, is they removed from Smuya uh, permission from Haji, from everybody. But these guys were crying, I think, on Discord or something. And they gave them back permissions because I was on stream checking. They gave them bad permissions. So now today, so what I did is I left FPL because, and I messaged this guy, I'll tell you what I messaged him. I messaged the admin directly and I said, I said, hey, I left FPL because everything you said was a lie, deleted as well, both of my clans as well. Lately what Faceit is doing is shady and very scammy. I don't want to be affiliated in any way with Faceit. I will stop playing the platform as well. So I'm playing matchmaking. The thing what they tried to do last week as well is steal my clan away from me by messaging Freezer and telling Freezer, hey bro, uh, would you be okay with running Loba's clan? We would take it away from him, give it to you, but we're still checking rules. So they wanted to do that. Then I went full tilt and wrote publicly what they're doing. And then they messaged, well, we didn't want to take it away from you. We wanted to buy it away. So first they tried that, that didn't work. Then they tried this with FPL. So I just left and don't want to be affiliated with them. They're a bunch of fucking scammers and pieces of shit at face it, okay? And I know admins are banning people uh, without proof, like without any cheating, without any, uh, I said, uh, verbal abuse, nothing. They're just doing that if you message them. And I have proof 
because I did it to people. I messaged admins and the admins would ban people I messaged them about. Even though the guys weren't toxic or anything, I just wanted to, you know, abuse them. So the platform is dog keto and you shouldn't even get tilt about them doing that.